I recently built my home with SIP panels, structurally insulated panels. And as I was doing the electrical, um, I wondered, well, how is this to be done? So with my particular manufacturer, each panel is basically uh, a 4x8 sheet uh, stand, standing up vertically. And in the middle of each panel, direct center, is an inch and a half channel that uh, electrical wiring is run up and down. And then also 16 inches to the left and to the right, uh, there are uh, uh, more channels. So in this picture here, you can see my foundation has its uh, standing. There is a, um, a plate sitting on top of uh, this, the SIP panels, a sill plate, if you will, and it would, had, had to be drilled out um, in the locations where wires are to be run. This picture here shows the holes in the panels particularly. So all the wiring is done from up above. So uh, this is my, my basement. Uh, wiring was done in basically the, the ceiling and then run down each panel to a plug, to a switch, and then back up and then over where it had to go from there. So my question too was, well what uh, sort of electrical box had to be used. How do you fasten it to the, the mag boards? So what I found to work good was this retrofit box or also called a renovation box. It has these wings on the side that's basically made you can cut a hole in drywall and uh, shove it into the drywall and still be able to, to fasten it. It kind of pushes against itself when these wings are depressed. So here's a few more pictures just to kind of give you a an outlay of what it looks like. So how it's installed is by uh, basically tracing the size of the box onto the the mag board and then I used a router and cut out these holes. Then I jammed a screwdriver in there, uh, pulled out the mag board, carved out the, the styrofoam that was in the way and then uh, you can see here particularly to the left and right of the boxes. You gotta get the screwdriver right in there next to the mag board so that those wings can have something to catch on because they have to push against the mag board. It can't, the wings can't kinda glance off the styrofoam and come back out. You need to give them room to grab onto that mag board. So a good quarter inch at least on uh, either side of the box is needed. Then you uh, take a screwdriver and release the screw that's holding these wings. Don't release it all the way, obviously, but loosen it all the way back. And then you can uh, put it into the hole. At this point, you'd fish down your wire, likely two wires, and they'd be fished down all the way. You'd stick it into the top of your box here, and then you'd, you'd place the box into the hole as seen while pushing in these wings. Then take a screwdriver, make sure the box is inset uh, all the way into the wall and you tighten up that screwdriver so that it's pulling the wings against the front. You notice too in the top and the bottom of the box there's that little tab that's adjustable. You can adjust it so that the box would be mounted flush with the wall but in my case I was putting drywall over the, the SIP walls so I, I pushed those tabs back by releasing a screw and then tightening it back up and this allowed the box to stick the, the needed half inch away from the SIP wall so that when the drywall was placed on it would still be flush. And uh, that's what I found to work best for myself.